This is one lost cause. What's up, beautiful people of the world? Hi there, this is Sheila once again, your average, not super awesome, fairly interesting, next door local vlogger. And today is another Radiant Sunday, which means it's time for a new vlog. So, when reality hits you, it hits you hard. But hey, my mama raised me way better than that. I'm way too stubborn to raise my white hanky and stop throwing my punches. Which essentially means that I'm gonna keep on fighting. So what am I blabbering about today, guys? That means that today we'll talk about surviving the new norm. So I'm gonna divide my talk today into two major sections. The first one will talk about um, practical things, the practical side of things and how uh, we'll try to get by and survive each single day. And second, we'll talk about your mental health hacks, which is all about keeping your mental health as strong as you possibly could. So let's begin with the practical side. Number one, I would suggest that we find the necessary skills to find a good source of income while we are in the new global situation that we still are at. So um, Filipinos as we are, we've always been uh, proven to be very resilient, very creative people in fact. So whatever challenges that come our way, we always by the end of the day manage to make it work. That definitely makes me proud to say that I'm one of the most resilient people in the world and that's us guys, that's Filipinos. That's definitely our trademark. Now, going back to honing the necessary skills to be able to find good sources of income while we are in the new norm, uh, one very important skill, in fact, guys, is your communication skills. Now, I'm not saying all jobs require English communication, but a lot of jobs right now, uh, as a lot of businesses translate to operating virtually, uh, really require good English communication skills. Now, we don't have to be perfect communicators. We just have to have the basic skills so that we could explore a lot of these new opportunities that are coming through uh, as we translate to the new norm. So if you wanna learn more about how to better your communication skills, your speaking skills, then definitely you should tune in to my channel. I'm gonna talk more and more of those as we journey together. All right, so that's number one, let's find those good sources of income and that is by honing the skills that we can use to find them and that is to be able to survive support our family support ourselves as we transition and as we journey uh, through what we call today as the new norm number two it's very important that we also strategize on our expenses now I'm not someone who's very good at managing mine myself, but uh, this is something that we could perhaps try to learn as we go through this new setup worldwide, uh, is to ensure that we're able to strategize the way we allocate our earnings towards our expenses. So if things are not really very much needed then maybe we could put them off to, to a future date or maybe we could instead um, save some uh, for anything that might come up along the way that might need um, 
financial support. So it's very important that we are able to strategize what we do want to spend on right now and what are the things that could be put off to a later date or to a later period. Uh, therefore, that would give us something that we could easily tap when we do really highly need to. So for now, you may want to consider just focusing on the needs and less on the wants, if that makes sense. Okay, so tip number three on the practical side, and that will be to, of course, continue to exercise reasonable precautions. I always associate that to one of the episodes of my favorite Sherlock Holmes series, uh, because that's a line that, if I'm correct, was spoken by Inspector Lestrade reasonable precautions but I, I would definitely love to use that particular term it makes a lot of sense to me reasonable precautions when it comes to our health so it doesn't mean that we are perhaps becoming better at dealing with this global pandemic that we would also lose our grip and our um, being precautious about everything when it comes to protecting ourselves health-wise. So I would say let's continue to be very thorough, very careful, very strategic when it comes to applying the necessary precautions health-wise to ensure that we stay as healthy as we possibly could. So I think that sums up the practical side. Let's move right to our mental health hacks. I am not saying I'm an expert on this as well. No one is, to be honest with you. Uh, there's no magic formula to be the best uh, when it comes to your mental health, especially during these kinds of times. But we can always exchange our thoughts on what are the things that are working for you, what are the things that are working for me, and we could learn together from those. So number one uh, suggestion really is to stop translating social media likes to the amount of support that you have in reality. Now I know we have a lot of times nowadays to browse through social media um, because again, everything is translating to being virtual because of the new setup. And because of that time that we now have, we tend to focus a lot on social media likes whether or not people are liking our posts, whether or not we're getting as, as much views as we would like to get. Um, and a lot of times, I know you're guilty, do not deny, that you tend to get depressed when there's just too less of the likes that you are expecting. And therefore, you get depressed by the end of the day because you will automatically think that this means that people are no longer supporting you, that there's just too few who continue to believe in you and that you're becoming less and less significant and that's definitely not the case so um we just have to remind ourselves that these things are surface level factors really um your real support are primarily coming from your family the people who love you whatever happens no matter what um, and you just have to remind yourself that uh, getting those likes do not necessarily mean that people are not with you. Definitely not. We are way better than that. So trust me, it will work better if you don't focus too much on translating those likes and views to the actual support that you really have. All right. So then second tip is constantly check on your family members. Of course, that's a given um, to give us peace of mind. We do want to stay connected to all of our family members, uh, call them, chat with them, use all the platforms they could use to always keep in touch with how your family members are doing, especially for those who are not physically together. And lastly, set little projects and goals um again we talked about strategizing expenses but of course it also would not hurt if you try to come up with little projects every now and then just to keep yourself motivated and to uh, have those little goals that uh, you can push yourself to achieving uh, within short durations 
and that would actually keep you um, alive, keep, keep you energetic, and keep you looking forward to the next day. So I think those are all for me on surviving the new norm. I think um, we are learning day by day. We are getting better at it. Of course, there are um, bumps along the way, but what we can really do is just to take it one day at a time. Let's go through this together, guys. We can do this. Go, go, go. High five, five. Bye.